Welcome to homework for third grade module one, lesson 11. I try to keep my video short, so if I'm rushing it, please pause the video or go back over the parts you want to see again, uh, if, if you need to see the explanation again. Uh, and of course, feel free to skip ahead as you need to. Don't forget your name. Fred has 10 pairs. He puts two pairs in each basket so these are fruit right pairs e-a-r-s those are that's fruit uh, how many baskets does he have so what we think about what we know and what we don't know we don't know how many we don't know how many baskets draw an array where each column represents the number of pairs in each basket there's two pairs in each basket so here's a column of two and there's 10 pairs, so I need four, six, eight. There's 10 pairs. And uh, we knew that there were 10 pairs, and we knew that there were two in each basket, and what we didn't know was how many baskets, right? That's five. Fred has. going to transition from arrays into tape diagrams. Part B says redraw the pairs in each basket as a unit in the tape diagram. So like you can see the column of two right here, that's, our, that's one of the boxes of our tape diagram. Label the diagram with known and unknown information from the problem. So you want to think about what, what is known and what is not known. We know that there's that there are two pairs here and the box this is kind of goofy to think of but the box is the basket so the, the and there will be an empty basket right here until we put something in it I'm going to put two pairs in it and here's another basket I'm going to put two pairs in it and here's another one two pairs in that basket and two pairs in that basket so that's I'm labeling what we know, that's two pairs. And then this whole thing, that's what this bracket means, is everything from this one all the way over to here. From here to there, what is that? That is 10 pairs. It's 10 pairs. And the question we were trying to figure out, we didn't know how many units it was going to take, right? We didn't know how many baskets. That was the unknown, so I'm going to label that with a question mark. Uh, we know that the answer is five baskets, but we're labeling that's the unknown is, is baskets, that's the unit. So that, that's what we need for this. We'll go on to number two, a new one at the bottom of the page. Ms. Meyer organizes 15 clipboards equally into three boxes. So we know about the clipboards, we know how many boxes, but we don't know how many clipboards are in each box. Model the problem with both an array and a label tape diagram. Show each column, we're not working with rows, we're working with columns as the number of clipboards in each box. There's uh, that, that's what we don't know, right? Because we know how many boxes there are, we you know how many clipboards there are, but we don't know how many are in each box. So we don't know how many are in each column, but we do know that there are three columns. All right, so our first column. So we're going to have three columns, right? Because columns go up and down, right? So that's one column here. Here's another column. Here's another column. Three columns. And number of clipboards in each box. How many do we need? Three. Six. Nine. 
12, 15. So that tells us that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 clipboards in each box. Now to draw the tape diagram. Now the tape diagram is a little bit different. We know that there are we know there's three boxes. So it's a little bit different than the first one. We had to figure out how many units there were. We know that this one there's three boxes. So what we don't know is how many clipboards go into each box. So we have the three boxes. We're going to label this. And this is going to be what we don't know is how many. Clipboards. And the whole thing we do know is fifteen. We do know fifteen boards. And we do know that there are three boxes. So we're labeling the knowns and the unknown. And if we were going to use the tape diagram, we didn't already know the answer. Uh, we draw in the, the clipboards like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And this is a great way to, to use tape diagrams to solve division. It's just like dealing cards in a card game. Every player gets five cards. We just deal three players until all the cards are gone. Fifteen. Uh, and then we're going to write our equation. Fifteen divided by three equals five. And our answer statement is already written for us. Page two. Sixteen action figures are arranged equally on two shelves. And how many action figures are on each shelf? Model the problem with both an array and a label tape diagram, just like we did before. Show each column as the number of action figures on each shelf. Which is, that's the unknown. That's what we don't know, is how many are going to be in each column. But we do know, for our array, that there are two shelves. So that means we're going to have two columns. And now we have to figure out 16 action figures. We're going to figure out how this is going to work out. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we can see how many there are. So our tape diagram is going to look like this. Draw the long bar. And we need, uh, we know that there's going to be two shells. So two big parts. And 16 action figures. One, two, And what we knew was uh, we didn't know here. We didn't know how many uh, 
action figures, I'll call them AFs. And, uh, but we did know this whole thing in the beginning, we did know that there were 16 AFs. And we knew that there would be two shelves. And we need our equation. 16 divided by 2 equals 8, because we knew the 16 and we knew the 2, and the 8 was what we figured out, right? That's our quotient. And then we need our answer statement. There. I should have left myself more room here. There are 8 figures. On each shelf. All right, now that's everything. You got to have all that. You got to have the array. You got to have the tape diagram. You got to have this statement. You got to have this equation. You have to have all of that and all the labels. Jasmine puts 18 hats away. This is going to be a longer video. Jasmine puts 18 hats away. She puts an equal number of hats on three shelves. How many hats are on each shelf? So, model the problem with both an array and a label tape diagram. Show each column as the number of hats on each shelf. Okay, so we know that there are three shelves. So that's three columns. One, two, three. And columns are going up and down. We don't know how many are in each column, but we know there's 18 hats. So we have three, four, five, six. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And if you don't know by now, we've done 3 times 6 equals 18 in every single assignment, I think, this in this unit. So you should know that you should maybe it might have expected there's 18, there's the 3, there's going to be a 6, it's coming somewhere. So there's your, there's your array. And now we're going to have the labeled tape diagram. We knew about the three shelves. What we didn't know was how many hats and we did know this whole thing in the beginning and not every problem is like this where you know the whole thing sometimes you have to find out what the whole thing is but this one we didn't know how many hats and what we did know there were 18 hats and three shelves. And if you're just using the tape diagram, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen divided by three equals six. There are six hats on each shelf. Got to have all of that. The tape diagram, the labels, the equation. Now we're down to our last. And the answer statement, we're down to our last. Problem. Corey checks out two books a week from the library. How many weeks will it take him to check out a total of 14 books? It doesn't say we have to do both an, uh, an uh, array and a tape diagram for this one. I'm going to use the tape diagram. We know he has two books a week and he has 14 books. So we know there's two books is what we know two books and for this whole thing we know how many books there are there's going to be 14 books but what we don't know is how many weeks 
and that's a question mark. I don't know how many weeks. So in, in each box is going to be a week. And we're just going to put two, here we go, just two more books. That's another week. And we can keep doing this until we get to 14 books. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, that's fourteen. Fourteen. So we figured out that fourteen divided by two equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It takes Corey seven weeks. 